Welcome back to Play and Trade Guitars. I'm John, that's Zach behind the camera, and this is Play and Trade Guitars, where we play it and trade it. The Dave Grohl DG335 from Epiphone is here, and I know many of you are gonna barrel each other over to go buy it right now. If you buy that guitar, use our link, it really does help us, and you get fast free shipping and easy payment plans. But I'm telling you, this is the most requested guitar according to Gibson and Epiphone, and it makes total sense. A lot of you have been asking for the Dave Grohl Trini 335, this one in beautiful Pelham Blue. I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know. I'm gonna pull it apart on the bench and talk full specs before I plug it in and play it. But remember, at the top, if you're in the market for this guitar or any other gear, click to buy that new gear using our link. It really does help us and you get all those benefits. Also, be in it to win it. We are giving away a Martin D28 when we hit 100,000 subscribers. To win that guitar, just hit subscribe now and use our Gleam entry link. All of that is pinned in the comments or down in the description. All right, let's take a first look at the brand new Dave Grohl DG335. Unbelievable, let's get to work. All right, here it is. Ooh, nice thick neck too. $12.99, I think the price is perfect. And this has a lot of high-end features in it. It includes a hard shell case with a custom signature and a little bit of artwork on there. And then it's got this fatter profile neck. Of course, it's got the Firebird headstock with the diamond cutaways, the Trini Lopez style. Other than that, it's basically a 335 and Epiphone does 335s incredibly. I've been preaching that of the Epiphones that are truly worth buying, the biggest bang for the buck and the best value is the 335s. And lately they've been putting Gibson USA pickups. This one is no exception. You're gonna have Gibson USA burst buckers in this guitar. Beautiful Pelham Blue metallic finish, non-reverse Firebird headstock with the mini Grovers. Um, actually the non-reverse does make tuning a little bit easier because you're not dealing with the upside down headstock. Uh, but man, did they really just kind of nail it in terms of just cosmetics. I love this neck shape. You've got an Indian laurel fretboard also with the appropriate split diamond inlays. They did the original run of these guitars in the Gibson Custom Shop in 2007. They only made 200 of those. I think they went for like 20 grand and they go well above that now. So this is your opportunity to grab this at $12.99 and I know that this one is going to sell out and be super popular so act quickly. But uh, I can tell you out of the box it feels fantastic. Let's head over to the bench and pull it apart before we plug it in. All right, starting up at the top of the headstock, Epiphone on a non-reverse Firebird headstock. It has six mini Grover tuners. Dave Grohl's signature here. Beautiful Pelham Blue finish across the entire guitar. Thicker neck profile, we'll get measurements in a second. Nice cream binding, you got Indian Laurel for the fretboard, and then check this out, you got True Mother of Pearl split diamond inlays, which look beautiful. Uh, in the Trini Lopez context. And actually Dave got his first Trini Lopez from a guitar store when he was still playing in Nirvana. And I uh, just fell in love with those guitars. And to see this done in the Epiphone run is really cool. You also got the iconic uh, diamond kind of cat eyes going on here for the 335 F holes. And a set of Gibson USA Burst Bucker pickups. You've got the ABR1 style bridge, stop piece, and then typical controls, nothing crazy. Very similar to a lot of the spec 335s with the hard shell cases that have been coming out lately from Epiphone, also with the Gibson USA pickups. But of course you're getting the Dave Grohl treatment, the Trini Lopez treatment, and I love seeing that Firebird headstock on a 335 style guitar. Just, they really, really nailed the aesthetic on this one. So let's get the strings out of the way and get some measurements. And that comes in at 1.69 inches, 0 0.89 inches at the first fret, up to one inch at the 12th. So definitely a thicker neck profile. We've got the laminated maple body, which you can watch them do in our Gibson factory tour. It's actually really cool to watch them make a 335 guitar. This one comes in at 1.73 inches thick. Go ahead and flip over those humbuckers. You've got a burst bucker three in bridge position and a burst bucker two in neck position. Typical controls, volume, volume, tone, tone, three-way selector switch. We'll flip on the multimeter and get a reading here. We're at eight, two in bridge. 7.8 in neck, 3.9 combined. All right, weight is at seven pounds, 12 ounces, seven and three quarters pounds. All right, and of course the advantage of any 335 style guitar, it's semi-acoustic. So, I mean, it's nice and loud projecting volume. You could just sit and play this on the couch unplugged. I'm really a fan of this neck shape. It's a thicker neck. Wow, good ring and snap to this guitar. Neck feels fantastic. I don't see any construction flaws. I dropped the saddle height just a little bit. The action was maybe just a tad high, but the guitar feels great in the hands.
Wow, exciting. I'm excited to plug it in. Remember, if you're in the market for this guitar, buy it quick. I'm sure they're going to sell out quickly. Um, it's a regular production guitar though now, so of course they're going to make more, and that's exciting to have this in the artist lineup over at Epiphone. Great features on this guitar. Click to buy using our link. Really does help us make these demos, so thanks to all of you who have done that. Now comes my favorite part. We're going to plug it in. I'll show you clean tones. We'll dirty it up and then let it scream behind a track. So drop a comment as we go and stick with me because after the uh, playing demos, I'll give you my raw, honest reaction and a final score. So let's get to work. So in honor of Dave Grohl, I went with an AC30 today. I thought the burst buckers sounded fantastic through the Vox. Um, this guitar is a lot of fun to play. The standout features, I'm going to give you the score on the guitar, but just a couple things off the top of my head. I love the neck shape. 
Um, the guitar was, gosh, it just looks beautiful. Um, I really like the neck pickup and I like the bridge pickup. And between the both of them, you get a lot of fiery rock tones. And I will uh, we'll break it down by score. So I give a guitar a score based on three main categories, overall playability, overall sound, and overall value. Starting with playability, I like the neck shape. Um, I, did, I did notice a little bit of, I don't know, fret buzz or intonation stuff going on. I don't know if the nut is slightly too tall or if the frets have something weird going on. Um, just a little bit of buzz going on, no matter kind of what I did with the setup. So bear that in mind. Um, but overall playability, I was able to get up and down the neck, no problem. I love a 335, there's nothing like them. And in this case, I'll go ahead and give it a, uh, I'll give it an 8.7 on overall playability. Overall sound, it's great that they put the Gibson USA burst buckers in here. I think they were voiced perfectly for this guitar. In fact, it was kind of specced to Dave's uh, liking. So I think, uh, I think he knows what he's doing and I think they picked the right pickup for this guitar and it sounds really good. I like the voice of this guitar. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 9.2 in overall sound. And then overall value. I think they could have charged more for this guitar, but I'm glad that they didn't. I think $12.99 is the right price. It includes the hard shell case, the Gibson USA burst buckers. Uh, these mother of pearl inlays, these split diamonds are beautiful against the Indian Laurel. Indian Laurel feels very close to Rosewood, um, so, I, so I'm good with that. Um, and then getting, obviously, the fact that they're doing a Trini Lopez with the Firebird headstock, the split diamond F-holes, I mean, that's a big deal. You don't see that every day. And so to have Dave Grohl's name on it and to have those cosmetic appointments and to have the sound of a 335, I think you have to own a 335 in your, in your guitar collection. This is a great way to do it. Um, overall value, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 9.4 on overall value. That brings us to an overall score of 9.1 on the DG335. This is a Dave Grohl from Epiphone at $12.99. If you're in the market for that guitar, click to buy using our link. You'll find it pinned in the comments or down in the description. And I'll tell you what, Epiphone is really doing a great job with 335s in general. You can't go wrong. We've reviewed a whole bunch of them, so check out those demos on the channel. Everything from the very inexpensive 335 dot, which is fantastic. Drop a comment, let me know what you think, and I'll catch you on the next video from Play and Trade Guitars. I'm John, that's Zach. See you next time.